here we are, baby. Shoot your shot at Nick Cannon. And is we remix this one because this week this is incredible. See, you, you probably recognize this beautiful, amazing queen next to me. Hi. Her name Present. is Mackenzie, which if you don't know, but you probably do. She works at Power 106. So this is our, yes. this is our co-worker. Squad. But you still shot your shot inside the hallways and you I scored. Do. So uh, Mackenzie works for the liftoff, right? Yes. Social media queen at night. And uh, she gets busy at night, but she really wants to get busy in the morning. So that's why this shoot we're your shot at Nick Cannon is why we're here. here. Now, you shot your shot at Nick way before this whole bit was going on, right? A little bit. It was like, I think December, I uh, was on the radio with Justin and Sour Milk and yeah. we were talking about how he's Mr. Provider. Oh, and right, the guys right. were like, you're not down to DM him. And I was like, bet I am. So I did. Boom. And all I said was, hey. And it went literally nowhere. <laughs> so he did he, he left you on red? A little bit, yeah. But Damn. we're here now. That's all that matters. All right, so when Nick, when we announced Nick Cannon Mornings, did you, like, did you feel a little sick? You're like, oh, shit. No, not at all. I'm like, we're still here. We're still here shooting <laughs> our shot. I haven't seen him since he started because I work at night. So... So you we haven't, haven't even seen, seen each other since, wow. since then. So you guys haven't passed each other in the hallways and like Not that? Not at all. He's morning times. He gets to business at night. I'm mm -hmm. at the office at night, so we haven't crossed paths. So I'm and excited. now we're here. What is it about Nick that made you say, like, is it just like the provider or are you uh, attracted to Mr. Cannon? Or? I mean, provider is, you know, a great bonus. Mm -hmm. But I, I like a man that, you know, has goals and aspirations. And mm. he seems very humble and... That's someone that I think I would be interested in. So what are your expectations on this blind date today? Honestly, I haven't been on a date in a really long time. Like, you oh. know I work nights. So right, right. When, when will I have time to go on dates? Like, quite honestly. so. N like brunch? Maybe like right now? This exactly. is probably the only time. Yeah. So it's been a while. So I'm What's just, a while? Months, Teddy. Like, months. Ooh. Like, you can ask Justin Credible. Like, he knows it's been a lot. Oh, of yeah. The drought. The, the drought. I heard exactly. about the drought. The so, drought is legendary now. So I'm just excited to be out and kind of, you know, meeting someone, getting to know him. Like, things that he likes, things that people may not know about him. Or, yeah. like, just more so just getting a personal connection. Right. So, like, what is that one question? Like, do you have one? Or you're like, nah, I'm going to wing it. Nah, you know, you just kind of, with someone that you're interested in, you just kind of catch a vibe and get to know each other. And mm -hmm. that's pretty much it. Now, what's the worst thing that can happen on this blind date? The worst thing? I don't know. There's a long list. <laughs> do we have enough time? Yeah. No, <laughs> not really. But let's go. Let's the shoot The worst some. thing that could happen is that it's terrible or I offend him and I end up getting fired. <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> that'd be that'd be horrible. That'd be like the worst way to go Literally out. Really, the worst thing that could happen. Um, what's the best <laughs> thing that could happen from this date? The best thing that could happen, obviously, get a second date. Hey. Um, if anything, gain a new friend. You know, if that's right? what it is. But a, a good friend to have at work. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't be freaking around in the hallways or the closets or anything like that. Just, nah, nah. Nah, you know, we gotta keep it respectful. On our own time. Hey. Now. <laughs> We're doing things different today. We haven't done this yet on Shoot Your Shot and Nick Cannon. We got to take a shot before right. this day because, you know, Mag Daddy McKenzie, you f you're from Diego. You're from Dago. Right. San Diego, just like Nick. So I just want to calm the nerves. Like, let's just get this over with. Let's get it over with. Plus, people from San Diego party like a mug, so <laughs> it's nothing you're not used to. Salute. Cheers Salute. to McKenzie. Cheers. McKenzie Cannon. That sounds wild already. That cheers. sounds crazy, but cheers. it's got a ring to it. It's got it. Ready? Eye contact. It's important. Oh, is that what we do? Do eye contact cheers. the whole time. <laughs> Okay, it's not bad. I'm a little cross site now, but that's good. That's right. All right, mm. here we are. It's now it's time. I think Nick just pulled up right now. It's time. You ready? Do I look good? You look amazing. You look, you look beautiful. Thank you. You ready? Let's do it. <laughs> ah! Is a good day. Absolutely. 
I'm glad we did this. I'm super glad we did this. Thank <laughs> you. We learned a lot about each other. Got to get to know each other. Right. And uh, she she shot her shot, and I received the shot. Take notes, ladies. <laughs> All right, so here we are after the date. How'd it go? You see this glow? <laughs> Ooh, you shining. It was good. It went really good. I was, you know, nervous to begin with. Right. I think that tequila shot helped, quite honestly. You're welcome. <laughs> this was the longest date he's been on. Was it really? It really. We, I mean, we timed it. We were like, hey, this is going pretty good. Oh, wow. I mean, we were just talking, and it was, it was natural. And, mm. you know. What was the best part of the date? I mean, we were just sitting there having a nice time getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. And I think that kind of natural chemistry is, speaks for itself. Natural chemistry. Right. I mean, I, I saw it. I saw the vibes. I saw the smiles. Isn't it canon oh, smooth? Yeah, yeah. He's a good conversator. So, you know, oh. he kept it moving. And that teddy bear he brought was really cute. Yeah, I know. I, I saw that. I was like, <laughs> she's going like this. Did you guys talk about working together and how this is, you know, kind of different? I mean, art. we talked about work a little bit. But like I said, we don't really see each other in the office. We're right. There are mornings and there are nights. So, you know, it's. I don't think it would be weird if, you know, things went to the next level. Hey, I hope it does. I'm just saying I hope it does. Like we said the worst part that could happened from this was you messed up and and i get fired but yeah I, I don't think that's gonna happen i think i hope not i think you're good i think you're good and i know you gave him something previously um before the date right i gave him a gift first because uh, i i like to take care of my man Ooh. you know your I, man you already you're already speaking to existence right, i take care of my man and you know i think it's important you know both people to take care of each other in a relationship so. mm. was it was there any awkward moments in the date uh, i saw one i don't know if you want to talk about it what did you see when uh when he went to the bathroom maybe oh, he was gone <laughs> So he was gone for the, to the bathroom for a while, and honestly, I thought he left. Yeah. Um, but apparently, someone caught him in the bathroom and took a picture with him, so. That's awkward. You know, that's cool. But you recovered. The conversation was amazing. Yeah. What's one thing that you learned about Nick that you didn't know prior to the date? One thing I learned is we were talking about, like, working out, and he doesn't like, like, you know, I live in Hollywood. I like hiking, run yet. Mm -hmm. He's like, I don't like hiking. I don't like oh. running. He likes, you know, boxing and stuff like that. So I thought that was funny to find out. Yeah. But, you know, teach their own. Right. And it was, it looked like really genuine, like, honest conversation. Yeah. Like, I don't think I've seen him smile that much. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Don't kind of hype me up like I'm that. I'm just saying. Like, always. <laughs> you never know. This could be it. You I, think there could be a second date? I hope so. Me first, too. first of all, this was fun. This was really Every fun. time I, like, we talk to people, it's always kind of like that awkward conversation. No one's as obviously as amazing as you are. Relay a one final message. Maybe you didn't get to tell them during the date. One talk to Nick message. right here. Mm. Um, I just want to say again, I thought this was a really great date. Mm. I hope there's a second. And wow. If not, a great friendship will flourish from this. Mm, friends with benefits. You know what I'm saying? Hey! <laughs> Yo, this is Shoot Your Shot at Nick Cannon. This is the beautiful Mackenzie, of course, Power 106 family, yes. liftoff team, social media queen. Mackenzie. Thank you so much. Teddy Mora, thank That's you so me. much. That's me. You already know what it is. Nick Cannon mornings every morning. Wake your ass up 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. We'll see where the second day goes. So. It's going to happen. I know it.